Hello guys, you're watching my channel, my English magazine. My name is Sangeeta Mehta and you're watching my channel, my English magazine. This is also the name of my magazine also. It is a very beautiful magazine. In this, uh, I explain everything. In this uh, magazine, uh, I explain the... Uh, English grammar, all topics of English grammar which are uh, very important uh, for all those students who want to read and learn and uh, who wants to speak English and uh, who wants to write in English. So it is very important magazine for all of uh, those persons uh, who wants to gain the knowledge about the subject English. My magazine is uh, so beautiful. There is a photograph of mine uh, today. I explained to you active uh, voice, active passive means change of voice. It's very important uh, topic uh, in English grammar. Today I explained to you with the help of uh, this magazine that uh, uh, what is a voice? Uh, what is the voice? Uh, the question raised here. First of all, we understand what is the voice. Because uh, uh, when we understand the question, then uh, we um, very easily understand the answer also. So, I explain to you what is the voice. In English, the verbs, in English, the verbs form which indicates whether the subject person or object of a sentence do something or something has been done on the subject called the voice now this statement clear that to English the verb form which indicates whether the subject which indicates the whether the subject indicate okay person or object indicate whether the subject person or object of a sentence indicate subject person or object of a sentence do something do something or something has been done do something do something who indicate the subject or um, person or uh, object the verb okay the verb form which indicate indicates the which indicates whether the subject person or object whether the subject person or object or object of a sentence do something or something has been done on the subject called the voice now clear the verb which indicates whether the subject or person or object do something do sentence do something of which indicate in the sentence there is verb verb indicate the sentence subject 
whether the subject verb indicate form which the verb form whose form verb form the verb form which indicate whether the subject indicate whether the subject person or object of a sentence do something do something or something has been done or something has been done do something or something has been done means the verb verb form which indicate the sentence okay the subject in the sentence subject person or object to do something to do something or 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 something has been done do something or something has been done on the subject called the voice now you understand what i am saying to you what is a voice voice uh, in english uh, the verb who 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 is there there is a verb verb form which indicate which indicate whether the subject who indicate the verb form indicate who says the verb form says okay indicate that the subject person or object in the sentence to do something or something has been done something has been done on the subject something has been done do something or something has been done on the subject is called voice now understand it's very easy very simple way to understand that the verb who indicate in the sentence to do something and with the subject or something has been done with the subject okay that is called the voice now in simple language i am explain to you a sentence that begins with the subject or or the object the sentence that begins with the subject or the object to determine to determine whether to determine whether the sentence was categorized no categorized as active or passive or passive voice sentences it's very simple now in this the sentence that begins with the subject or object you know that the sentence uh, begins with subject or, or object to determine to what what uh, what he do to determine whether the whether the sentence to determine whether the sentence are categorized are categorized as the passive voice sentence as the active or passive voice sentence for example when a sentence 
has one auxiliary verb such as am are is been being be and past participle of verbs like for example when a sentence has one auxiliary verb one auxiliary verb understand that when the sentence have one auxiliary verb as am are is been being be and past participle of verbs like like written driven drawn known learned broken discovered the sentence is a passive voice how many verbs is in one verb auxiliary one verb for example i am explain to you now you understand that what i am saying auxiliary verb many one ab uses of uh, passive voice i i explain to you all things first of all you understand this okay thank you guys